Alright, welcome back to Red Dead Online. Uh, this is episode 3. Last episode we did another stranger mission, got enough money and bought a varmint rifle. And then we ended off here at my camp. And what I want to do is do some target practice with this varmint rifle and get good enough to actually get some kills on some varmints so I can make some more money and the actual mission then is when I get enough money built up I will buy a bigger rifle so we can hit hunt bigger things another way to make money is to collect herbs and just other stuff around loot enemies if you do missions and you end up um, having to few kill people on there and just loot there Leave their bodies, um, you know, you might get five cents or ten cents or whatever, but it adds up all the time. Hey look, there's a, there's a little creature, which I have no clue where it went. They have that eye. It says it went this way. These little creatures are fast. And this tall grass. Okay. Let's see if I can put down the right here. That way. I'm not a very good hunter, apparently. Alright, so we're gonna get... That train is loud. There's one of the trains that I was talking about last episode you don't want to get ran over by. I was playing with my fiance a couple days ago and we were doing uh, some story missions and some other people queued into the story because it's anywhere from 2 to 4 on that mission. And it match made us and just added some random people in there. As we were going along, I think I was riding on the back of our horse and I saw some one of the other guys that had queued in with us to do the mission was running and the train happened to go and he tried to go in front of the train and he didn't make it. The train hit him and he just went flying. Yeah. It, I, I, it was funny. Alright, so... We, hey, look, a horse. Alright, we're going to do some target practice. So I can hit a tree just fine. Alright. That's fine, but if something is moving, I don't know. I need practice at stuff that's moving. I'm gonna dead eye and see if there are any animals around here. The possum track. There it is, right there. Right there. It's the camp of key. Hmm. I was trying to make sure and hit him in the head, so it did, did keep it as. It kept it as a two star, so we're gonna skin it. The skinning is. Alright, just throw the rest of it away. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Pick this up and put it on this horse. If I can get my stupid horse to come over here. Come on, horse. Stow this on the horse. Uh, let's feed him. I'm gonna feed the horse. Feeding the horse makes the course go back up, and then also you get um, it increases the bonding level. All right, we're gonna try to do some hunting and target practice here from that looks like another animal. So 
So that second shot probably, since I missed the first one. Probably, yeah, I've ruined it. That's fine. I mean, it's still, it's all practice, and it's still, um, it still gives me money, just not as much. It was a one star instead of two. And um, we'll pick it up. Oh, let's do it here. You can only hold so many on your torch. Probably about full up. We're gonna go over here because I did see another animal run over here. The horse scares them away. There it goes. Those things are fast. Where are they? Those are deer. I don't want the deer. I want the small ones. They're coyotes. flowers here. These are the herbs that I was talking about. You can pick them and then sell them to the doctor. I think you can only hold like 10 or whatever to start out with. But... That is more than enough for me to begin with. I don't know what that red is. That kind of worries me. We're going to get out a bigger gun. That. Red on the mini map usually means danger of some kind, but I don't know. I just ran something over with my horse. I can't shoot anything, but I can run itself over with the horse. That makes sense. Skin this gun. of players down there that are um, it's nothing to worry about for me there's a bunch of players down there that are they're just run around killing people pvp they get you have an honor system i saw i saw some clearly i'm even losing my mind there's um there's some more herbs deer over there too. This varmint rifle won't kill these deer very well. I can attempt it. Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna work. Wonder if I knocked one of them down. I did hit it. But it didn't die. I'm going to run back over here by my horse and pick these herbs. Pick the herb, don't get on the horse. Indian tobacco, huh? Oh. That's good. Alright, so my person's cores are getting down, so I'm gonna eat. Bring it back up. Yeah. And then we're gonna ride back over towards my camp. I'd say this has been a 
kind of successful hunting trip, I guess. Caught, killed a couple things, got some practice in. There's another little animal. It's one of those deer that I probably can't kill with this gun. It's too small. They run very, very fast. Oh, there's, there's some. The horse scares them so much that... Come on, get out in the open field so I can see you. Where did that little thing go? Call the horse. There it is. Got it. Oh, we're gonna skin him so I get the skin. And since it's a two star, we'll put the um, we'll put the carcass on the horse. Come on, pick it up. Horse, you probably shouldn't be standing on there. Um, we're gonna replace the possum. That's another two star. Come on, pick it up. Messing around. Then we're gonna replace this one that's over here. Because that one down there is a one star. So now we got two two stars. Ride back to camp. It's getting extremely foggy and dark. We're getting out a big gun for that. The coyotes will attack you. Let's see what Cribs has to say. He's kind of like your little NPC. Um, <laughs> he's like the NPC that runs your camp. <coughs> if I want to sell that stuff that I got, then I have to go back to a town, which... That's the actual closest town, but... Sorry. Scratchy throat. Uh, I wonder. Valentine's pretty close. We'd have to go to the, this place here. So, I believe that's when we do. Come here, horse. Where'd you run off to? This is the problem I have with this horse. He just runs off. He just randomly takes off. Most ridiculous thing. Well, I'm going to make my way over there to the other town. But, nope, nope, nope. We aren't going on. See, we went straight for the cliff. I have no idea why. He wanted, he wanted to go off there. And he's trying to go off this one too. Horse, you are going to get both of us killed. Stop moving. Alright, go this way. You go around the edge of this cliff and back down. There should be a path to get down here somewhere. This one. Yeah, slide down the hill, come on. That's fine, you can go down it. Come on. We're complaining. I'm gonna trade you in as soon as I get the chance. You're not even fast enough to be worth the trouble. Recover 
for some of his stamina so he doesn't try to kick me off. If you run your horse's stamina all the way down, they will kick you clean off. And they get pretty skittish around like snakes and coyotes and wolves and stuff too. There's some varmints. See, this gun just isn't big enough to shoot them. Yeah, of course my horse goes the wrong way. I just, I need a bigger gun. So we'll keep shooting small things and gathering stuff up, and then I'll get some money together. Um, probably do like another mission or something next episode, get some more money. He's making a ton of noise. He's very unhappy with me sprinting him nonstop. There's a rabbit. We can shoot the rabbit. Well, we can attempt to shoot the rabbit. Got him. I'm getting better. Skin the little bunny since we got him. I wonder if I can store this in the front. I'm gonna replace it. This is the problem with doing small things, your horse can only hold so much, so we'll just. We hunted all through the night. It's almost daytime. Oh, lot of ugly business here. Mm, get out of my way, NPC. Now I can shoot that bird too. That's another small game animal. The farmer rifle will work with, but whether or not I could actually hit them is another thing. Too far for me. I'm not a good shot. He's not yet. Getting better. Whoa, that's a big cliff. I was using the telephone poles or the power poles for some uh, target practice. I think that's how I'm gonna practice while I'm on the horse. Practice shooting movement. See if I can hit them. It may seem silly, but I need all the practice I can get. I'm a pretty bad shot. Alright, so we're going to roll up here to this door. Stop shooting in town before I end up hitting somebody or um, getting a bounty. That's the last thing I need when I'm trying to make some money. I don't want the bounty on my head. Alright, so all those herbs stuff we will sell in the next episode uh, i'm gonna end this one off uh, thanks for watching and i will see you guys next time